question number 22. So can you try this? This the following pseudo code is used to select candidate based on age, <coughs> height, and weight <coughs> to call for an interview for a certain job. <coughs> so they have given the condition here, right? So if this uh, condition is true, then you know what you know, then the output is this, and else the output will be like that. So, uh, and they have given the qualification, the two candidates, Smith and Raj, will have the following values for age, weight, and height. Okay, now you have to find out who will be qualified for the interview according to this given data. Yes, uh, go ahead and try this. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, uh, yeah, you can send the answers, of course, uh, question number 22, right. <clears throat> Mayada, correct. Hani, correct. Rida, correct. Samiha, correct. Excellent, very good. Uh, Zaharin, wrong. Zaharin, try again. Then Fadila, correct. Yeah, very good. <clears throat> yes, boys, anyone? Raisa, correct. So, so I, love, I would like to hear from Hamdi, then, you know, other boys as well. Right, correct. <clears throat> Hamdi, um, uh, no, unfortunately wrong. I don't know whether you watched last yesterday's uh, video. <laughs> Zaharin, correct, okay. Yes, Najat, Arkham, <coughs> Najat, correct. Who said Hamdi, no, Hamdi, try again. Okay. <clears throat> yes, Hamdi, correct, Zohra, correct, Arkham, correct. Right. <clears throat> so, very easy, no? <clears throat> uh, now, they have given the pseudo code here. This is the pseudo code, right? Pseudo code is given. <clears throat> Now, okay, look at this one. <clears throat> if age is greater than 21 and the age is less than 40, remember the, the end logic. Yesterday also I explained this, the truth table for the end logic. Remember this? So there's an end, end condition or end logic, <clears throat> right? Hafsa far is wrong. Okay, so look at, okay, look at this Hafsa. Uh, age e greater or equal 21 and age less than or equal 40. Okay, now let's take Sumit first one. Okay, let's take this one. 
<clears throat> age is 26. Age is 26. That means, okay, first one, tell me. First one, it says age 20, greater or equal to 21 and less than or equal to 40. So it's like this, 21 between 40. Okay, the age should be in this range. If you are to be qualified for the interview, the age should be in that range, right? Okay, then <clears throat> in that case, okay, uh, if you take uh, Sumi, age is 26, no? Okay, what about the first one then? What do, you, what do you think? Age is 26 mean it in between 21 and 24. Age is 26, right? So, <clears throat> so we can say this one is true. This is true. Is that clear? So we'll apply the second one, the height, 157. So this one says height is greater or equal to 155. So then this is 57. No? So my height is uh, here. Sumit's height is 157, right? 157. Then this is true, right? <clears throat> Weight is 52, but it should be greater or equal to 55. So that is false. So that is the first thing. You have to identify these, uh, you know, true false things, right? But we have an O operator in between. See, O. Right? <clears throat> Give me a minute. Okay, so uh, now, okay, how do we do this, right? How do we do this? Now look at this one. <clears throat> okay, first one, look at the first one. First one, uh, <clears throat> okay, now we have here, I'm talking about uh, this part, right? We have true or false. Okay, now remember the O operator, right? If it is an O operator, uh, can you remember the truth table? Who can tell me the truth table for O operator? What should be the output in a uh, truth table? If it is an O? If at least one condition is true, then the output is true. Very good. So uh, if one, if, if it's at least one, uh, right? If at least one is true. So this is true, this is true. Uh, this is true, this is false, because both are false, right? If at least one. Now look at this one, first one. We have uh, one T O F, then what should be the results? Because T O F is like this, no? this one, T O F is like this one. Then what should be the results? What should be the results then? True. Ah, that is true because uh, TOF output will be true. Is that clear? That, that is the first step, right? If you are, if you are, I mean, if I mean, most of you did correctly, but still, if you have a problem, right? If there isn't at least one true, it's true, right? If there is at least one true, it's true. Yes, that's that's the idea. Now again, see if you are still not sure, right? So the main thing you should know this truth table for O, o right? Then now, uh, I think this is clear. This is very simple. No, this should be T, then there is an O, then this should be false. So results of this is true. Why? Uh, we have to use the truth table. We have at least one true, the output will be true. Now, what you can write here is, instead of P and F, you can say, okay, this is true. Is that clear? Now we have, we have T true, and operator true. Now remember the truth table of and. Okay, if it is and, right? If it is and, what should be the output of truth table? If it is and, yes, and operator. What is what should be the output of this truth table? And mean both should be true. So only this one is true. All others will be false. That is the and operator. So what is the result of this one? T True and true. So what, what is the result of that uh, operation? No, Samiha, say. 
as is in so you have a tree t one side and operator then t both the true then what should be the result output yes you can talk i mean if arkam if both are true look at this one see if both are true the output will be true is that clear or still you have problem <clears throat> Yes, uh, you can you can ask me the questions right if you don't understand. Right, so the output will be what uh, said uh, said false arkan. So output will be true, right? So results of this condition is true for Smith. Is that clear now? <clears throat> so this is how we have to do right. So you have to get the truth table then. See the results of this operation, the first one for Sumit, right? Finally, the results of this one is true. Okay, then if this is true, we know the condition, right? If the condition is true, then what happened? Program will execute this then part, this part. So if this is true, what will happen? It will program will output qualified for interview. Is that clear? So we know. Sumit is he is qualified. Is that clear? Is Sumit is qualified, <clears throat> right? Right. Now we'll come to the Raju. Okay. If you are if you have not tried Raju, you can now try Raju. Okay. Can you? I mean, uh, the whoever could do this, right? Can you try the Raju's one? So what you have to do is you have to follow the same thing, right? Apply the age first one, then apply the height and weight of Raju and find the last one because we know the truth table for uh, and and O. Okay, using that, can you quickly find out the <coughs> Raju's one? So I will write the truth table here. So this is the main idea. <clears throat> true, false, <clears throat> true, false. Then if it is an N operator, N logic, the output will be true for both, all other cases, this is false. If it is an O operator, if we have at least one true, output will be true. If, you, if the both output are false, only results will be false. So that is the difference, right? <coughs> right. <coughs> now, <coughs> using this, <coughs> so I, I showed you how to do the Sumit one. So you can try now the Raju's one. <coughs> okay. Uh, what about Raju's one? So we said Sumit is qualified. So what about Raju? <coughs> Okay. <clears throat> okay, who can uh, tell me uh, the Raju's case? Is anyone, uh, I mean, uh, if someone willing, you can, you can explain me the Raju's case. <clears throat> Is anyone willing to do this one, Raju's one? Okay. Yes, uh, you can talk better. Okay, Raisa, better if you can talk, right? Uh, okay, we'll take the first one. Raju's age. Okay, what do you think about this part, age part? Age <clears throat> greater than 21 and uh, less than or equal to 40. So Raju's age is 33. What do you think? Is this true or false, first part? <clears throat> Raju's first part, is this true or false? If you, if you respond, then it, we can move fast. True. Very good. So Raju's part is true because uh, right now we'll come to the height. This part height. What do you think? 154. False. False. Good. What about the weight? <clears throat> weight. Yeah. False. Weight is false. Okay. Now, so in between we have O. <clears throat> okay. Now tell me. F or F, what is the result? 
false or false. Both are false. false. That's false, right? In both cases, that is false. No. So no worry. Now we have <clears throat> what what we have here, right? Now we have a <clears throat> now finally you can write. Finally, you can write instead of uh, true or false, this is false, right? This is false. There's an N operator. So what is the results of true and false? What is the results of T and false? True and false. <clears throat> yes. uh, false, very simple. So that is, uh, yes, correct, my other. That is false. See, N operator, if, if at least there's one Q, T, the output is false because both should be true. So this is false. So simple. So the results of this operation condition is false. Then, <coughs> okay, <coughs> sorry. Now, now what happened if the condition is false, right? If condition is false, if, if we, this will, this won't execute the then part, this won't happen. Instead, right? If state this one, uh, the program will execute the else part. So you will see in the screen, not qualified for interview. So Raju is not qualified, right? <coughs> is that clear? <coughs> Sorry, is that clear? So Sumit is qualified and Raju is not qualified. Right? So what is the answer, Salhan? So this is the answer. <coughs> so any questions? <coughs> right. <coughs> So this table, you should remember this table, the truth table, right? So I think, as I said yesterday, also we covered this uh, in the first, uh, I mean, logic classes, lo uh, so logic gate classes. Okay, shall we go to the next class, next question? <clears throat> that is uh, 22, question number 22 we did. Uh, okay, 21. <clears throat> okay, 21 is an easy one. Anyway, we'll do that also. Can you answer the question number 21? This is the one. <clears throat> <clears throat> Read the question. Consider the following statements. The first one, the step-by-step -step process for solving a problem is known as <clears throat> Najat correct, Raisa correct. Second one, a pseudo code does not depend on of a programming language. Graphical representation of the sequence of operation in a program is called graphical representation, right? <coughs> yes, Rida, correct, Sara, correct, Najat, correct. <coughs> Sal, Shihan, no, Shihan, try again, Mayada, correct, Hani. Correct. <coughs> Arkham, correct. Yes, Zaharin, correct. <coughs> Lakshini, what is the answer? <coughs> yes, Zahra, Hamdi, both correct. And Zaharin correct, okay. <coughs> right, so <coughs> we'll do this. Sorry for, <coughs> sorry. So I have a problem with the voice today. <coughs> the step-by-step -step process for solving a problem is known as what, right? What you call uh, the step-by-step -step process of solving a problem? <coughs> algorithm. Ah, uh, oh, that is an algorithm. Algorithm, right? A pseudo code does not depend on of a programming. Oh, 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 okay, we say the syntax of a programming language. Okay, I will tell you what is syntax, right? 
syntax means when you write a programming, when you write a program, if you are familiar with any programming language, so there is a, <clears throat> there is a, say if it is English language, right, let's say you are writing a program in, uh, you are writing something in English, there is uh, the grammatical rules, right? So you should follow grammatical rules, right? If it is an English one. Right, so <clears throat> we say grammar, <clears throat> right? Like that, if you are writing a program uh, in Pascal, right? For example, a programming language, so you have to follow certain rules given in the programming language. So we call that as syntax. If you want, you can note down syntax, right? <clears throat> Not the logic, the main, for example, if you want to write an if statement uh, uh, in Python, you write the if and the condition, let's say, average uh, greater or equal 40, right? So you have the if condition, then there is a syntax. You don't ask, uh, why I'm using this one? This is, this is how it works, right? But if you are writing a, a program in Pascal, you would write something like this 40, uh, then, so this is a, it's very close to uh, pseudocode. Pascal is very close to pseudocode. That's why uh, they introduced, they use Pascal to teach initially. After teaching the pseudocode, if you go and teach Pascal, that's easy for students. They can easily understand the language so rather than going into uh, Python or Java or C, right? Uh, so usually in, in lower grades, they, they have the Pascal, uh, we say Pascal is a teaching language. It's a teaching language, so it's not a it's not a comma like it's not a industrial or the uh, commercial purpose language. It's a teaching language, right? So that's why you have Pascal. After that, we will start Pascal. So <clears throat> now look at this one. So this is what you call the syntax of the language. So this is the syntax of this language. So each language has its own syntax, right? For 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 example, if you go to a while loop. Right, so there are different different syntax, right? Right, okay, so this is called the syntax, right? It's like the grammar, you have to follow the way. You don't ask why, why, if I don't do that, why? No, we don't ask that, so just follow the way. So the, then, <clears throat> first one we say the algorithm, this is the algorithm. Second one is syntax of the language. What is third? Graphical representation of the sequence of operation in a programming language. Graphically, you are representing. Okay, this is what we have to do. Okay, you, you draw using the symbols. Yes, what is that called? What is that called? <clears throat> that is what? <clears throat> flowchart. That is your flowchart, right? This is flowchart. <clears throat> is that clear? So answer should be, answer would be uh, algorithm, first one, syntax and flowchart, then the third one, right? Is that clear? So third one, graphical representation is flowchart. Is that clear? Any questions? Right, so we'll move on to the next one. <clears throat> 2013, right, <clears throat> right. Hold on, 2013, I don't have the paper because the paper, you don't find this paper in the English version of this one. So, so I have the <clears throat> photo of this, okay. <clears throat> 2013, uh, <clears throat> right, okay, this is the question. You can see the question, right? 30, 38, question number 38. So this is the question. <clears throat> Right, now can you do this? Consider the following pseudocode segment, <clears throat> right? If marks greater than 75, if the marks greater than 75, so you have to say this and else this, this, this. If marks contain 50, so they are saying the marks value, they have given the marks value as 50. Now you have to find out what will be the value assigned for R. Uh, what is what is inside R? So what the value R will get? <clears throat> uh, 
right? Yeah, try, try this question also. <clears throat> Okay, okay, good. Uh, let me check the answers. Rida, correct. Mayada, correct. Samiha, correct. Rahurin, Zahrin, correct. Raiza, correct. Hamdi, correct. Hani, correct. Najat, correct. Zuhra, correct. Okay, Sarah correct, Sarkam correct, Shihan, your answer is wrong. Shihan's answer is wrong. Uh, Fadila sans is wrong. <coughs> yes, how about uh, Lakshini? And the Rai dance is correct. So Salhan, Lakshini, Kirtika. Hafsa, your answer is wrong, Hafsa. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Hafsa, yeah, it, yeah, now it's your correct Hafsa. Okay, so we'll see, very simple one. If the marks greater than 75, right? So a marks is, they are saying, assume it's Sihan, uh, yeah, correct now. So, okay, marks is 450. Okay, now it will check whether if the marks is 75, no, it's not greater than 75 because mark is 50. So what happened? Program won't go inside this, it won't go to this part. It instead it's, it's evaluate or it's execute the else part. Now, if you come to the else part, there's another if condition. Again, checking the condition, if the mask greater than 50, now we have a doubt. My mask is 50 only. So it says greater than 50. What happened? <clears throat> what happened? The mask is greater than 50. Is this true or false? Is this true or false? Because marks is 50. So is this true or false? I need, I mean, you can talk, right? False, right? So this is false. Very simple. This is false. Now program will go to the else part and check the condition again. Uh, marks 35. Is this true or false? My marks is 50. So this is true. Now R will become pass. Right, then it won't go to the else because uh, uh, already this is, uh, I mean, you know how this if is working. <clears throat> if this is condition is true, okay, the else should be here. Or oh, it won't go to the else, then uh, that's the end of it. So answer is fourth one. Answer is fourth one, right? Is that clear? Any questions? Right, good. So we'll go to the next one. <clears throat> Uh, okay, last one. Uh, so, okay, can you do this one? <clears throat> I will share the question. Okay, uh, this is uh, 2010 MCQ.
Now, consider the following pseudo code, <coughs> right? And uh, they have given the pseudo code here, input number one, input number two, then result is dividing this and just output. Which of the following is possible output of the above pseudo code? <coughs> <clears throat> okay, Rida. <clears throat> Good. So, how do you do this? Okay, first you take the first answer, right? Uh, yes. Uh, Okay, first take the first one, right? So you have uh, four, 12, and three. Now, okay, this, this will be your uh, number one, then number two, right? So this check like that. You just enter one uh, answer and see whether you're getting the right one. Or if not, go to the second one. Like that, you have to try, you have to do a trial and error in this case. <coughs> Shahan, yes. Uh, sorry, uh, you have to, you, I mean, sorry, this is actually the output. So output, uh, so you know the first one is results, other two are numbers. So if you take first answer, right, four is results, uh, number two is 12, and the number one is three. So now you have to say number one is three, number two is 12. Now check the results. Results is number one divided by two. So, so you won't get number four, this is wrong. So the first answer is wrong. So like that, you have to apply and see each answer. <clears throat> uh, yes, Raisa, uh, Hani, because uh, yes, uh, <clears throat> we'll, we'll, we'll see the answer, right, this time. How about others? So I'm waiting for others, so you can try. So as I showed you, first one, uh, try other, try your, I mean, uh, uh, each answer. You have to try each answer. <clears throat> Arkham, Hafsa, Najat. Okay. Because I don't have the answer, so we'll try that, right? <clears throat> I don't have the marking scheme with this. How, how about others? <clears throat> so if I showed you the first one, how to do the first one. So you have to just apply the other answers, Zohra. See, apply and see the answers. <clears throat> what, what they have given is uh, output, Najar. So they have given the output. So, okay, okay, let's see. Uh, let's apply the second one. <clears throat> okay, this is the second one, okay? So output says, first one is results, no, this is results. So this is results five, number two, <clears throat> that is two, number one is 10. Now at number, number one is uh, 10, this is two, and you divide number one by uh, two, that is five. So that is your results. So this is correct. Then. So answer number two, whoever said answer number two is correct. <clears throat> Najat correct, Hafsa correct, Samiha correct, Hamdi correct, Arakam correct, Mayada correct, Shihan correct, Raiza correct, Ani correct, Rida correct. Okay, good. So if you go to the third one, okay, if you take the third one, we'll take this one. Okay, we have the results, that is the output, no, because if you read the pseudo code, it's take input number, input number, then finally the output is this. So they have given the output. So the first, whatever the first value, this value should be the result because three outputs are there. So this is second one and this is the third one. That means number one is two, this is 10. Then you divide number one by two. Ah, that is wrong. So this sounds also wrong. 
right? <clears throat> so let's take the third one. So we have three. So this is results. Uh, four is results. Uh, this is number two. So eight is number two. Then number one. Number one, eight, right? Then you get the results and see two divided by eight. So again, this is wrong because that, that doesn't match with the results. This should be equal to this number, right? But that is not matching. So this is wrong. So the correct answer for this case, uh, we said, is it number three or two? <clears throat> number two, right? Number two, it should be number two, not three. It should be number two, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> so, So we will we will do other other uh, questions uh, next time, right? Uh, in the next class. So I'll, I'm I will stop with this one. Uh, so we have to do the part two question. This set. So we'll I'll do it in the next class. But now uh, we okay. Now we will uh, do a small part of the theory. Okay. Now if you look at what we have learned so far. So we have covered the pseudo code part. Right. Already the flow chart is over. In the pseudo code, so we covered the flow chart, as I said yesterday also, we first uh, did the sequence part, then the selection and the repetition, right? So we do all the theory and the past papers. Now with the pseudo code, so we have done the sequence and the selection part, the theory and the past papers, still there are a few questions to do. Okay, I hope, uh, I don't know, you, you, if you're not clear any of this, uh, just let me know. Okay, if you have doubt, if you have not understood, any of this, what we have covered, just let me know. I'm willing to help you. Maybe even if you need a personal, uh, if you have a personal, if you need some personal uh, guidance, you just let me know. I can, I can, you know, at least uh, send some voice over the uh, WhatsApp. <clears throat> okay. Uh, but I mean, don't decide like some student, you know, they think, okay, when they see a difficult part, any anywhere, right? Even in maths or even in science, so you tend to decide, oh, I'm not going to do this. So it's very, it's hard. So I'm not going to do this. So that's the easiest way, right? Of uh, like, uh, you know, rather than facing and, uh, you know, trying something, the easiest choice is what you, you just decide, okay, I, I'm not going, because there are, there are like seven questions or something. So I can, I have to do only five. So, <clears throat> so I can, uh, I can uh, leave this. Don't do that. One reason is, so you, you have to do the MCQs, right? You usually get four, four MCQ to five MCQ from this section. Then the structure, the second, uh, the question one also, you will get one or two questions from here. So then the, your, the, then the main part two question. So if you take the last two years part two question from the programming, it's very easy. The last one is, the last year's paper is very easy. Question is very easy. So. You, if you if you learn what I, I uh, what I'm doing in the class, if you follow the class correctly, uh, without missing or even even if you miss the class, if you are following the recording, uh, then I, I don't think this this will be a difficult uh, task for you. So so don't decide. Okay, this is uh, like uh, okay, I'm not going to do. Don't decide like that. Okay, okay. So we will <clears throat> come to the repetition one <clears throat> now. So we are okay now. Uh, with the pseudo code, right? So we'll we'll uh, look at this one. Uh, in the repetition, we have three type of repetition, right? With the pseudo code. So with the flow chart, I didn't explain. We don't we don't worry about this different type uh, pseudo code. We we're going to cover these three type of different repetitions, right? So note down this. <clears throat> write down this in your book. <clears throat> the pseudo codes, the repetition. Copy down the slide. So we have three types. 
right? While uh, do we, okay, don't worry about this, we will learn. Okay, write down, uh, I mean, when you copy down, just copy as it is, while do in capital. We say repeat until and the for do. <clears throat> so these are the three structures. But we don't, we, we actually, we didn't do this with the flow chart because we don't worry. We, with the flow chart, we, we don't worry about this different type, but the repeat with the flow pseudo code, you should know the difference because these three repetitions works differently. Even if you open, just say you are going to learn uh, Python today. Uh, let's say if you are learn, learning Python uh, uh, repetitions, you, also, you will find the same three. Maybe in addition to there, no, there are three, yeah, right? No, you don't find this one, but anyway, right? Uh, <clears throat> so it's very common, right? With co very common uh, uh, three uh, loops, right? Right, now <clears throat> let's take an example. Uh, <clears throat> okay, now try to understand. Uh, now let's, let's try to understand this one. Okay, now how, I, let me explain this, how this will work, right? Uh, okay, so it's better if you can stay in the class, right? I mean, uh, better you, you try to focus on this. Right, first it says, uh, this is the pseudo code, number one is equal to one, right? <clears throat> number one is equal to one. While, while, say number one less than or equal to 10, number, number plus one and n y. Okay, now look at this. Initially, what happens, program, <clears throat> okay, you have the number variable, number, what is the value of the number? The initially, when you start the program, what is the value? What is the value of number when you start the program? One. One, right? Now, what happens, this condition will check this. Uh, the while mean it's check the condition initially before, before enter into the loop. So this is a loop, no, this is a loop. This is your while loop. So before go into the loop, program will check that condition, right? <clears throat> The program will check the condition. Okay, number less than or equal to 10. Okay, condition is number. Okay, what do you think about this condition? Less than or equal to 10. So my number is one. Is it less than or equal to 10? Is this true? Is this true or false? It's true. It's true, right? It's very simple one. You can see it's true. So condition is true. Now, very similar to the flow chart, but uh, they, we don't have the symbols. No. Same, same concept. Now what happens? Condition is true. Program will go inside this. Uh, you have the number incrementing, number plus one. So what is the new value of this number? So number equal, numbers old value, that is one plus one. So this will become but two, right? So n while, okay, now program will come to this one, but there's a different, after coming to this place, again, program, this is a loop, no, right? This one will go to the start, the condition part. Again, the program will go to the condition part. Is that clear? So after, after completing the statements, right? After the, because uh, it will go and check the condition. No, once, once, uh, okay, now the first iteration, first iteration or the first, uh, first this, uh, uh, yeah, we say iteration. So it's, it's, it goes one time, right? Check the condition and increment the value. Now, again, what happens? It will come to this part, check the condition. Okay, now what is the value of number here? What is the value of this number? What is the value of number? Yes, it's two, right? So this is two, so two less than no 10. Now, is this true? So this is true. This is also true. So program will go inside and increment the value. Now this will become three. Now again, it will come like that. This will, I mean, the program will repeat, right? Now let's say uh, this becomes like, uh, okay, once uh, 10. Now the value is 10, let's say. Okay, now what happened? You check the condition, right? Value is 10, uh, that's also true. So again, it goes inside and increment. Now the value will become level. 
okay i'm talking so once once it's so this repeats right so then the number will become 11 now what happens okay it comes then the program again comes and check the condition now number is 11 now what do you think about the condition 11 less than or equal to now what do you think about the condition false condition is false right now if the condition is false right program we want execute this statement so it terminates so oh it end the program so that's the end of it so look at this one so while loop initially check the condition so this is how the while loop works before you enter into the loop it check the condition right if the condition as long as the condition is true the loop will execute it okay loop will be executed as long as the condition is true once the condition becomes false loop will be terminated so that is the main idea okay before you be, before enter into the loop right uh, condition will be checked okay now uh, let's you can note down this you can note down this example note down the example and uh, you can note down this uh, tracing table as well right while after right like this uh, draw the tracing table also but after writing the example maybe uh, on the other side write down this one then it will be clear for you it's okay <clears throat> is this clear so before in a while loop so when you see a while because i am saying other loops will operate in a different manner so you have to understand this i will give the notes for that okay write down the example and uh, uh, draw this uh, tracing table as well so initially it check the condition as long as the condition is true the while loop will work so once the condition becomes false while loop will terminate that's the idea <clears throat> finally see one once the uh, number becomes 11 condition becomes false okay is anyone uh, no writing down shall we move to the next one is anyone still writing raise the hands if you are writing okay you don't need to know on that that's uh, what i explain okay that's not necessary okay we will we'll do this simple example right in order to understand how the pseudo code works okay you can try this okay by using the uh, uh, loop uh, by using the knowledge okay can you try to do this one what is the expected output of the following pseudo code segments you better okay wait uh, can you quickly uh, can you quickly write down this uh, uh write down this example in your book uh, especially the pseudo code in equal 1 comma do y and this comma is not necessary anyway uh, they have given like that <clears throat> then y do y n less than 5 print it n equal n plus 1 uh so they have given a loop although this is little different right it's okay 
<clears throat> so sometimes it because the while loop uh, while do or do while so they you see the book i mean sometimes they change it i don't know why they change but okay <clears throat> maybe yeah you can use both ways right okay can you try this but before that note down this as an example in your notebook what is the expected output of the following pseudo code segment write down this then note down the note down this uh, pseudo code as well. It's a small one. No? Now, then you have to uh, you have to find out the answer. Right? Don't just because if it is a past paper question, you can say, ah, okay, 2018 for uh, question MCQ 28. But this is not a past paper. So better you note down this example. Right, uh, yeah, that's good, Raisa uh, and right. But I hope, I mean, you guys have uh, note down the question. <clears throat> then we will see the answers. Uh, you have to, you have to, uh, yeah, you have to draw a small uh, um, tracing table as well. Yes, Zaharin, Rida, Raiza, then who? <clears throat> yes, uh, Rai, I, I, I don't know the answer actually, so we'll see. <clears throat> so you can try now, uh, you just do it. I mean, uh, Samiha, okay, good. Yes, boys, uh, Hamdi, if you, if you don't know, right, that's fine. Okay, we'll do it, right? Zohra, right, okay, Zohra, have, you have a different answer, that's fine. Okay, <clears throat> shall we try? Okay, now uh, let's let's again uh, do a tracing table. Initially, n equal one, that's the first one. No? So you, you write n, that is one. Now, while n less than five, the condition is n less than five. If the condition is true only, while loop will execute, that's the idea unless uh, <clears throat> otherwise <clears throat> okay so as long as the while loop is true the condition will be executed okay we'll take my n is one less than five is this true or false zohra is this true or false one less than five two two that is a simple one true now what happens if it is true the loop the while loop will be executed the condition is true so this will work Okay, what do you have? Print in. Print mean what? What is print in mean? It's like a printing to the screen. So in the screen, what you will see? N. What is the value of N first time? Zohra, what is the value of N here? No. One. One. So initially you will see one. Now, second one, N equal N plus one. That means N equal, the value of N is one plus one. You take the value here from this one and add one to the end. So what will the new value of n? What will be the new value of n? n plus one. Now you have one plus one. So it will become two. Is that clear? The n will become two. Is that clear or not? So what you have to do is you take the previous value and add one. Right Now what happens? It's not like the if loop, if, if, if statement, which this is a loop, no. So the program will go to the starting part. It will go again and check the condition. So what is, how about the condition? N less than five. So my N is two less than five. So now tell me whether it's true or false. Is it true or false? N less than two? Mm -hmm. Two, that is true. Now what happens? Program will, execute the other two statement, right, Mayada? So it will execute the printing. So what you will see in the print uh, screen, Mayada? Printing. So what you will see in the screen now? Two. So now what is the value of n? 
Hum di, what is the value of this n now? n equal n plus 1. What would be the value now? Hum di, what is the value you will get? Because you have n, n equal n plus 1. So what is the new value of n? 3. Ah, 3. Okay. Now you have 3 because already the old value is 2 plus 1 is 3. Now what happened is again the program, the condition loop, loop in, so it's repeat. You come here and check the condition. N less than 5. So, okay, 3 less than 5. Is this true or false? This is true. So now the program will display the print. So what, what is the value you will see here, Isa? The printing, what is the value? Three. Three. Now, what is the next step, Raisa? What happened to the ending? Three will... plus one. Ah, very good. Three plus one, four. Now, again, the program, so it's a loop. I mean, as long as the condition is true, loop will work. So again, the program will come here, check the condition. So what is the value here? N less than five. So N is uh, four less than five. Is this true or false? Is this true or false? The condition? True. That is true, right? The condition is true. Now what happens? Okay, now uh, can, can let's, let's ask someone else, right? Uh, what is the value you will see for Adila on this screen? What is the value you will see? So it says print in, no? print in. Now what is the value? Honey, what is the value you, you will uh, see in the screen now? Four. Four. Okay. Now what happened to the uh, n? What will be the new value of n, honey? N will become what? N equal? One. Uh, sorry? Five. Four plus one, that is five. Okay. Again, okay. Check the condition. Loop will come to this place. It will check the condition. Uh, five less than five. Okay. Now... Uh, if I ask someone like, let's say, uh, okay, let's, uh, okay, Mayada, can you tell me uh, this what? False. Uh, why do you say it's false? Five less than five. It's less than five, not equal, no. So it's false. So condition is false. Now what happened to the program? Will this go inside the loop? Loop no. won't execute. It won't go inside now. So it will jump to the end of the statement and the uh, loop will be terminated. Now. Now see what, what, you, what you have in your screen. Look at this part. Look at this part. This is your screen, right? I mean, the output, the print. So you will see one, two, three, four. So that is the answer. One, two, three, four. Is that clear? So if you, if you want, you can note down this uh, tracing table. So bet, I mean, as I said, always just draw a tracing table. This is the method, right? If you want to get the 100% correct, perfect answer without any doubt, just draw the tracing table. Uh, as I said, in, in, in Excel or in, in UK exams, they ask, they ask to draw, they ask to draw the tracing table. So, but in your papers, you don't get that question. Uh, oh, anyway, <clears throat> so note down this. Uh, if you want, you can note down this. So I will finish it within five minutes time. Don't worry. Okay, draw, draw, draw the tracing table. Uh, uh, if you have not, I mean, if you have a doubt. So then, or oh, even if you want to see that, uh, even if you want to uh, refer these notes later, so you will you will uh, clearly understand so how it works. Okay, next one. Finally, uh, okay. Now let's note down this uh, while do loop. <clears throat> the same thing what I explained to you. Just let's note down. Uh, so this is the last slide. Uh, while do loop, conditions are checked at the beginning of the loop. Conditions are checked because uh, other loops works differently. That's why we are, we are you know, I'm insisting on uh, the conditions are checked at the beginning of the loop. Even if you go this and learn in, in your master's program or in, even in, if you are doing a PhD, the same concept is same. Right, that same concept. Okay, beginning of the loop. Maybe if you want, you can underline this word. Conditions are checked at the beginning of the loop. 
<clears throat> Second point, the statement inside the loop are executed only if the condition is true. So check the condition. If the condition is true, the statement inside the loop will be executed. So statement inside the loop are executed only if the condition is true. Renounce is that you have completed. Statements inside the loop are executed only if the condition is true. Third point, the condition becomes, once the condition becomes false at the end of the, okay, the condition becomes false at the end of the repetition. That means, okay, uh, once the condition is false, the repetition will be uh, terminated. That's the, that's the meaning. So once the condition is false only, the repetition will be uh, come to an end. So we say the condition becomes false at the end of the repetition. Okay, last point is very important. If the condition does not become false while the repetition is executed, right? I will explain this. It will be an infinite, infinite loop, right? So this is an infinite loop. So I will I will explain this. So they have asked the same in the 2021 paper. If the condition does not become false while the repetition is executed, it will be an infinite loop. <clears throat> so what is that last point? Who can explain? Is anyone a uh, volunteer to explain the last point? Yes, my other better you. I mean, uh, okay, better you can. So if you if you can uh, switch on the mic and explain. <clears throat> okay, if the condition does not become false, right? <clears throat> so we'll take this example. Oh, I don't know whether. Right. Okay. <clears throat> right. Look at this one. Now we said, okay, once the condition uh, becomes false, right? Okay, once n becomes four, uh, less than five, the loop will be terminated. Let's say, okay, let's say uh, it's, uh, it's like this. Okay. Uh, let me, let me put uh, something else here. Oh, sorry. Let's say uh, let's change the condition here. Okay. Okay. Let's say this is n greater than five. N greater than five. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, one minute. Uh, give me a minute here. Let me adjust this. Uh, okay. Now this is the condition. No. Okay. This is the value. Okay. Now let's say n is greater than five. That is the condition. Now what happened to this condition? Okay. Now. Uh, my other, what will happen here? N, this is less than, no, not less than, now greater than five. I have changed the condition. So all should be, uh, it's like this. N greater than five, two greater than five, three greater than five. Uh, no, that is wrong, no? 
no we can't take this okay uh, now what happens okay now what happens if this condition let's say okay you have a uh, in uh, less than five right uh, okay what i will do is uh, i have to take uh, Let's change this to n greater than one. Okay. Uh, or, or let's make it like this: n uh, greater or equal to one, equal to one, right? Right. Now look at this one. Initially, n equal one. N equal one. No condition is n greater or equal to one. Okay. Now look at this one. Uh, n one greater or equal to one. Is this true or false? Is this condition is true or false? This is true or false. True. True. Right. So what happened? Loop will be executed. Now again, n will become two. Two greater or equal to one. What do you think about the second condition? Second one. True. True. Right. Now n will become three. Three greater or equal to one. Is this true or false? True. Now like that. Okay. Now what happened? This will continue. Right. Now let's say n becomes thousand. Again, the condition will be true. So there is no end to this loop because there is no way to make this false. Is that clear? There is no way that becomes false because always n will become greater or equal to one. So this this what happened then? This loop will work over over again. So we we'll, we we'll, then we call this as an infinite loop. So ultimately, the program will crash. So it won't work. It will crash. So this is the reason because the loop, because you know, if this is a while loop, there should be an end to this loop. No. So in order to, in order to, you know, uh, make the loop, uh, uh, in order to make it, uh, you know, uh, end uh, to end the loop, you should have uh, the, you should make the condition false. The condition should be false somewhere. But in these type of cases, so there is no way uh, you can make the condition false. So this is called the infinite loop. This is the infinite loop. Is this clear? So when the condition, uh, you know, continues, right? If you can't find the, if there is no way, right, you can make it false. This is called the infinite loop. That is my last point. If you read the note, last point says. Uh, if the condition does not become false while the repetition is executed, if the condition does not become false, right, while the repetition is executed, it will be an infinite loop. Is that clear? Okay, so uh, so that's all we have uh, for today, right? So we'll wind up for, for today.